Hi there. I uh, just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of a more advanced technique that that just stumbled across. Um, basically, this is kind of a, I guess you could call it a way to have um, views relate to each other, so views relationships. Um, uh, but basically so that, that different views on a page can be a, aware of each other. And really, I guess they don't even have to be on the same page using this technique. Um, but so what we had here was just a basic news site um, and we have three distinct views at drilling down here's one here the featured items latest news and here's the third one which is a complex view with with attachments but basically three columns in a single view um, and so the problem we had was we wanted we didn't want to have duplicates and we had some complex sorting going on which I won't go into but basically um, we wanted we had more than one way of sorting so they're they're all sorted by date but we were we were also sorting by some other factors and very quickly we we ran out of options as far as views sorting goes um, because we couldn't just set a, declare an offset um, of two items for this view for instance we couldn't do that because um, these views would be sorted differently than this this view and and so on and so forth. So really what we wanted to do was have a way where this view could be aware of the the nodes that were in this view and just not show them no matter what they were, no matter how this was sorted, no matter how this view was sorted. And then this view down here would be aware of the nodes that were in this view and this view and not show either of them. Um and so that we we accomplished that um and I, I, I kind of titled these nodes in a way that you can see that. So one, two, um, and, and on and on, so that you can see that one doesn't appear in any of the other two view, views, and three doesn't appear in, in any of these views. Um, and so I'm going to show you real quick how, we, how I did that, um, and hopefully you'll find this helpful. Um, the first step is um, to have in, a, in your template.php file, in your theme, um, this is the preprocess views views f function, and this is this is the name of your theme. And I'll post this code along with this on Drupal.org. Um, so that would be the name of your theme, preprocess views view. And bas basically, this goes through some views and takes every result, makes an array of all the all of the NIDs for that result, and then sticks them all together into an argument string and saves that argument string in the globals array with a key of the name of the view and IDs. So basically what, along in the short of it you end up with in the globals array there's a key name of the view name so for featured news it would be featured news and IDs and that's just a a plus separated list uh, a list of NIDs separated by plus signs that uh, tells you all of the NIDs that are in that view. Um, so what you can do with that once you have that set up, is you can go to the uh, the view that needs to be filtered. So this is the view that doesn't need to have any nodes in this view. So let's edit this view, and basically we're going to pass all of the node IDs in that other view through this view and say to exclude them. So if you add an argument of node and ID. and then you go down provide the default argument default argument type is PHP code and then you just return that or uh, the array key that we just set up so we know we're working on we want to look at this this view which is actually called featured news um, so if I go back in here so that's the one we're looking at we want to see all the node IDs in featured news so this is the array that we, uh, the key that we pass, the globals array, and the featured news and IDs. Just return that, um, and then the other two things you do is allow multiple arguments, terms per argument, um, because obviously we may have more than one node ID that we don't want to show, um, and then exclude the argument. Um, and so that's pretty much it. The, the only other thing to remember, I'm going to cancel because I've already saved that. Um, the only thing to remember is you need to have this node and ID field so that 
the views module can compare these two things, the node IDs that are being passed in to the node ID one at a time that is being displayed. Um, and you can actually just check that exclude from display uh, checkbox if you don't want to actually show it in your view, but you need to have the data there available um, for the argument to compare to. Um, so that's the basic example. Um, that's that's how we're getting this result. So this view is looking and saying what node IDs are in this view and I'm not going to show them. Um, one way that you can test that whether this is working uh, just to show you this is you can actually in this argument take off the exclude the argument option and when we save that what that means is okay instead of excluding I'm going to be including so I'm only going to show the node IDs that are in this upper view um, and see there you go it's saying okay I know what items are in this view I'm only going to show them instead of excluding them so that helps you kind of test uh, what's going on there uh, if you didn't have a you know real simple way of seeing that uh, I'm going to put that back the way it was um, and then the only other thing I thought I'd cover is if you want to uh, look at multiple views it's really just a matter of concatenating um, the different the different array keys um, or the different strings that are in that globals array um, so on this on this view down here we didn't want to show any nodes that were in this view or this view um, so just real quick I'll show you what we did there same thing arguments node NID and then provide the default argument PHP code and all we did is we took both of these strings in the globals array so featured news NIDs and the latest news NIDs and we just concatenated them together with a plus sign in between so that way you end up with a bunch of node IDs separated by plus signs which is what views lo arguments look like um, so you just return that and then remember to check allow multiple terms for argument and exclude the argument and then remember that you need that node ID field and again I just excluded it from display because I didn't want to show it to the user yet, but I needed the data there um, so then when I save that well you'll see what you saw before <laughs> which was it was already working but um, so anyway I hope that I hope someone finds that helpful um, that was one of the the quickest and actually just to mention too um, some of the other options that I've seen people trying are are um, to actually in, within this view load this this another view and and do all the magic there uh, that didn't seem like a good option to me because that means you're actually loading this view multiple times um, so through this template.php this code actually runs when when the first view is loaded so this view only loads once and that little PHP snippet runs and says okay I'm dropping all of the node IDs out to the globals array um, and so on and so forth so uh, you can add as many views here as you want but it only runs on the views that you tell it to so hopefully it's a pretty slick um, little implementation please let me know if you have a better way I'd love to hear it thanks a lot